today what i have planned is so last week we have gone through the basics uh, in, and features in tableau prep today being more specific i took some of the cases or like use case tableau prep so today we will try to understand these three example also at the end of the session we will try to make the flow in tableau prep so the first case is like how to remove the duplicate records uh, so mostly in we will face this situation so for example currently if you see we have only like five names ids and address but if you see those, uh, those are repeating three times so uh, it's like uh, th- only 33.33% of the data is to remain everything is duplicated uh, so how to remove this in excel is like kind of very simple so if you select all and that's the option once you select this okay it will get removed but in tab you have to follow something different so this is the first case uh, we had for today and second one here the data uh, remains same but what we have added is uh, add in its uh, date, date field so if you see for name five alone we have like four dates assume a case like where you you like to remove the max date or min date like how to make the flow that is the second case and third example is uh, assume a case like where uh, you can assume this to be some uh, sample superstore or some data like where we have data of purchase for each name and address and we are trying to modify the structure in such a way we will have separate uh, rows for first date of purchase second and third so on uh, these are the three cases i had for today let's quickly start and uh, make the flows in tableau prep and understand the concepts and features again so as usual uh, here i open the tableau prep builder with the just connect to data all those are okay. microsoft excel file So I loaded the file. I want all the fields, so I have checked all the boxes. So next step, I will go for a clean step to view the data. So view currently we have like fifteen rows, three fields of fifteen rows. So we have to just uh, uh, compress it to five rows, which is only the two rows. to do that what we are supposed to do in tableau is we will just create an aggregate step and if we add all uh, we will uh, just uh, see only five names five address and uh, total rows for each row there are like total three records and if you see here id what's happening the sum of id is happening because of which the id one three times uh, three and id two uh, like three times Into two six like that, it's happening in ID. So there is some change in ID. What we can do here is instead of sum, we can go and change average. So in this case, the issue is resolved. But in real time scenario, we will have like so many fields, and it's difficult to just look on each field. So what generally Zen masters they suggest is in clean step convert everything to string. For example, like now here uh, we have ID as in that's why the sum aggregation is coming over there, and because of which. These IDs are getting summing up. To avoid the issue, what they suggest is convert everything to string. So in that case, now we have all a string. In aggregate, once you change the metric, uh, we have to just remove all and add all again. So currently, if you see, like since we have converted that into string, uh, there is no aggregation happening at an ID level. So we have name and ID, and uh, number of rows for each uh, number of records for each row is three, which is like understandable. now we will go for a clean step again um we no need this number of rows aggregated so what we will do is just select this and remove and we will convert the id back to integer now we will generate the output step so if you view now we have only five names five ids and five address the catch is uh, main thing before you uh, do the aggregate step it's advisable to have an mm, cleaning step converting all those to string if not in aggregate step just uh, be sure like if id is uh, come uh, change the aggregation of id from sum to average in real case since we have we will have sales like so many metrics so it's better to go with this approach so we won't face any issues so uh, this is the first example i had for today any doubts
so quickly we'll go through the second example second example what we are trying to do is for each name if we have two dates we are just trying to get the minimum or maximum whatever uh, we will try to get the maximum so also we'll say what changes has to be made to get the minimum date so i can see that so first we add a clean step so we will uh, we will create a custom calculated field so apart from here if we go and select here create calculator direct we need to still load if we select by default there is no need to type also just you have to select the values maybe at an id level i want minimum date okay so here in 5 we have two dates so it has uh, chosen the minimum one that's why you so if you still want to convert this to min date so for example if you view the here uh, the 9 and 12 is repeating twice because here we have like 9 and 10 two days since we are using the minimum date on lod what happens is uh, Uh, for address by name by uh, the date we will have 9 12 and 10 12 but if you view the minimum date field it will be only 9 12 for both the id as by and name as name by so yeah in tabular group we do have this advantage so once you create a calculated field if you are not interested in that date you can't just remove uh, you can just remove here but in some cases where you will use like more calculated field on one on the top of other so you may call this step you can add a next clean step and uh, remove the fields which are is not required so now if you view the data it's like name by address by uh, getting duplicated twice again we will what we will do is we will just uh, add an aggregate step and we will try to remove the fifth row which has two records before that we will try to convert all to spring to avoid the aggregation so next we have an aggregate step add all name by name next clean step the number of we'll convert this thing to date yeah id this will be the output in case uh, you would like to view the latest date so just you have to edit this lod extra min this is the max that's it and remove the so if you give stuff time then as pop up so this is the second one third one So what's the case is like you know, we have name, ID, address, but like uh, the frequency of purchase, the dates are mentioned. Assume a case like where uh, you would like to uh, modify the structure and get first date of purchase, second and third in a single row. Then how to do that? So, if you uh, view for each date, there is uh, three. So, first to get the minimum date, we will create a calculated field date. Create a calculated field still good. So, what I am trying to do here is first I will get the minimum date of purchase, maybe fixed address, minimum date. So, now we got uh, the minimum date of purchase. That's the first day. I'll rename it. So now, how to get the uh, second date of purchase? So, what's the logic 
we will use here is we will just try to filter the dates whichever is greater than the first date of purchase and we will try to find the minimum among the filtered dates uh, this is how we get the second date of purchase so again create a calculated field here we will try to create custom calculated field since we like to filter the dates custom calculated field. so first step dates greater than the first date of purchase which is nothing but the fixed year loading so now we got the filtered dates so now we have to find the minimum among this uh, filtered dates so for that we will use sale body on top of this filtered dates So next, next what we are supposed to do the same step which we have done. Uh, we will filter the dates which are is greater than second date of purchase, and we will uh, try to find the minimum among those. That will be the third date of purchase. So I am copying the same thing. Date card. So fixed ID minimum, but the date should be greater than second. So in this uh, uh, same step, we can't just remove the date and fix tail body since we are using those in calculated field. So what we will do, add a clean step again and remove the terms which are not required. For example, fix tail body is not required. We just remove and this date is also not required. Now, if you see like uh, the each row will be repeated uh, thrice. Next, we will just follow an aggregate step and convert uh, all. Before that, we will just try to convert all to string. I'll just add on. Again, it's next step, removing the number of Now we'll generate the font. So now we got first, second, and third. So this is the third case. So what I would like to summarize this session is uh, tab group is not limited only to pivot clean all those. We can just uh, incorporate the calculated fields whichever we do add in tab. So we can use LOD and create calculated field and modify the data structure and get the right matrix uh, whichever is required. And that's what I would like to add here. So if you have any doubts, you can proceed or we'll close the session for today. Okay, Jeram. great. Uh, please. Jeram, I had one doubt actually. Yeah. So, so in IDs, we have a uh, uh, name five, name one, name three, name two, name four. Yeah. We, we can't make them in order. So, name one, name two, name three. Name four. I think we can. Oh, I think we can. Let's see. Yeah, in output step, we can't. 
Instead of doing it, now put on the run generator. 